Okay, this particular question asks you to draw yourself a multi-view um, sketch of this shape right here. And it's a little complex, so I want to get started and give you a hand with it. So let's start with our origin point, which I'm going to leave right there. And I'm going to start with my front view. You'll notice I'm doing this in pencil. Please start in pencil or you're going to hate your life. Gave myself an origin point right there. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight up. So I'm going to draw my line right there. It's too wide, too wide, and it is a closed rectangular shape. So I'm going to close it right there. Now the thing that's going to confuse you is this angle. You're used to looking at it in 3D and in 1D it's just going to appear completely flat because remember our front view is going to be looking at it dead flat. So what I'm going to do is from our origin point uh, I'm going to move over right here and I'm going to count the squares over. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 over. So again this piece right here is this piece Okay, and this length is also this length. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven over. That's my bottom edge, which is this right here. And since it's rectangular, I'm going to close in the shape. If you notice, this right here. This is a flat place that's two squares in. So I'm going to mark it. It is one, two, three, four, five, six up. One, two, three, four, five, six up. Okay, so I just drew this right here. And then the line goes over. So this is going to be the front view of this part. If I was standing directly in front of it, looking this way, this is exactly what I would see. Now next we have a top view of this part. So I'm going to draw some very light construction lines corresponding with all of my details. So if I look at this, I will count this as my origin point for this drawing. This one and this one are the same. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six units. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right there. It's too wide, which corresponds with this construction line. I don't want my construction lines to interfere with the drawing. And it goes one, two, three, four up. One, two, three, four up. Okay. So then from there, Going to this origin point, which corresponds to that, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 over, which will also correspond to this construction line. So right there, go straight up, and I can connect that. If I look at this point, which is also this point, it's too wide. So right there, and this line connects so I can close the shape. So I have my L laid out. Now next I have this triangular area right here. So looking at it directly down, it is two points away, one, two, and it is flush with that. So I can just go right there, and that will be the top view of this drawing. Next, I will follow some construction lines out. corresponding with all my details. And I will start an origin point, which will be my back edge, right there. It's the same height, right there. And I can go ahead and draw in my outside edge. Now if I look at how wide this is, starting from the left, going to the right, it is one, two, three, four, five, six wide. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I can draw my bottom edge right there. It is the same amount high on this side. This corresponds to that line right there. And I have it like so. Now next I have this triangular piece to contend with. So it's one, two, three, four. Corresponding with this line, one, two, three, four, right there. That is this line. Then it goes straight down, which corresponds with that line. And that is my side. This is a complicated concept to understand, so stop this video, rewind it, replay it as many times as you need to get the concept.